school 
he is now. Yay! And it was hard to find quiet time with uh, him being around during the week. And then my husband, um, he's home during the day. And um, it's just, it's just hard to find quiet time. week, about a week and a half ago, I had a procedure done on my eye called cross-linking. And, um, this smells like marshmallow or, or birthday cake, um, icing. So, I was, it was one thing after another, guys. And anyway, my son is back in school, uh, safely. And... My husband is sleeping, so I am able to make a video finally. And anyway, I've been I've had these um, slimes now for a while, a, a few weeks, and so I wanted to share them with you uh, and tell Amy thank you for sending them to me. Thank you, Amy. She was good friends with my sister, Sassy Snacks, and when Sassy was sick, Amy um, came up with this slime called Hope and Faith, and it was purple for pancreatic cancer awareness, and the proceeds from this event were donated to Sassy Snacks while she was out of work due to her illness, so um, recently Amy sent me some other items. She sent me Funfetti Floss, I think that's what it says. It says scented slime by Amy Whipped, and then the last one she sent is Willy Wonka's Silly S'mores Kit. not edible, but it looks good. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get started. And that is the purple one that was made for my sister's Sassy Snacks. And it has a soft, perfumey smell. Um, this one's been in here a little while, so it's not very, it's not very slimy. It's um, more like a putty. I just want you to be aware that's why it looks the way it does. Um, Amy does make this. It's called The Fix. And I think it helps when your slime gets like this. So I'm going to, I'm going to spray it on here and see if it works. I should probably do this on a plate or something. So, by the way, the water going on in the background is my son taking a shower. I wanted to use this uh, scented slime because, you know, what good is it to sit on a shelf if you have something that you got um, for fun, then use it for fun. This is, um, this is messy. 
it's sticking to my fingers. Uh, I didn't plan on that. Uh, so, I don't know how I'm going to work the camera. Um, I guess I'm going to have to use my knuckles or my elbow or something, but uh, it smells really good. Oh. noises. If you pop, if you pop the pineapple pieces, it makes noises. Uh, that's very interesting. Okay, guys, this is a learning experience for me. Um, I've never played with slime before, and it's very sticky. It's stickier than I thought, so let me, let me wash this off. Okay, the last slime I'm going to open is the Wonka bar because I figure I saved the best for last. Guys, I hope you're relaxing and um, look how cute this is. I hope you're relaxing and winding down. It's called Silly S'mores. That smells good. This looks like it's going to be a sticky one, and I don't know if I want to. I want to get too much into this. If you guys like slime, please be sure and let me know. Um, scented slime by Amy is the only slime I've ever tried. Point of information, Sassy is the one who encouraged uh, Amy to get started in her business. So, um, there you have it. You have some information. Amy was a doll when Sassy was sick. These actually kind of smell marshmallowy, but obviously they're not edible. Anyway, uh, Amy had meals sent to Sassy's house when I was taking care of her. She may not want me to share that, but I did. Anyway, she was she's just a, a very kind soul, and she's in this business, um, and it's doing pretty well. And she's on Instagram. I'm sure she's on Facebook, and she has, if you subscribe to her website, um, you get the coupons. She sends you discounts for slime, so if you know any kids that are really into slime or adults, um, you can go to that website and you can order, and so far, uh, Everything that I have seen from her smells really good, and um, if you are a tactile person, this is the kind of thing that you are going to want to play with. I don't know what I just did. I probably should not have put them in there, but, but I did. So, anyway, for people who like playing with slime, scented slime by Amy, it's a great company, and she's a very, like I said, a very good friend of Sassy's, and they went to Ireland together, and they went to, um, I think Costa Rica, Costa Rica together. I did not go on those trips. Amy went with Sassy and a couple of other friends. Uh, Sassy's very close friends um, went with her. So there is all of the slime, guys. I know some of you guys really like the noise that slime makes. I mean, I could do this all day, but then I wouldn't get anything done. So, uh, now we are going to get started on the Day of the Dead painting. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to have to clean this up. This is a mess. Okay, I'll be right back. 
10 Things to Know About Day of the Dead, and it is by Logan Ward. I will put the link down below in the description. One of the things that he immediately says is, Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is not a Mexican version of Halloween. Though related, the two annual events differ greatly. Ward states that though the two annual events differ greatly in traditions and tone, Halloween is a dark night of terror and mischief. Day of the Dead festivities unfold over two days in an explosion of color and life-affirming joy. Sure, the theme is death, but the point is to demonstrate love and respect for deceased family members. That is why we are doing the Day of the Dead project today. I'd like to have the altar for Sassy Snacks uh, completed by November 1st and November 2nd, which is when the celebrations take place. Of course, the altar will also be for Brother Snacks and for Sassy's friend, Linda, whom she made an altar for when she passed away in 2016. I believe Sassy's video was made in 2017 for Linda. So, um, ironically, this product that I'm making, that I'm painting right now, has one man and two women on it. Um, so, one will be for Brother Snacks, and the other two will be for Sassy Snacks, and for her dear friend Linda. What is Day of the Dead? Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a celebration of life and death. While the holiday originated in Mexico, it is celebrated all over Latin America with colorful calaveras, skulls, and calacas, or skeletons. Some of you may be wondering why I am painting my Day of the Dead decorations in August. Well, before you know it, November 2nd will be here, and I will need to have everything completed before then in order to put up a beautiful altar for Sassy Snacks, Brother Snacks, and Linda Snacks. This article talks about the altars. It says the centerpiece of the celebration is an altar or ofrenda built in private homes and cemeteries. These aren't altars for worshiping. Rather, they are meant to welcome spirits back to the realm of the living. As such, they are loaded with offerings, water to quench the thirst for the long journey, food, family photos, and a candle for each dead relative. If one of the spirits is a child, you might find small toys on the altar. Marigolds are the main flowers used to decorate the altar. Scattered from altar to gravesite, marigold petals guide wandering souls back to their place of rest. The smoke from copal incense made from tree resin transmits praise and prayers that purify the area around the altar. Literary Calaveras Calavera means a skull, but during the late 18th and 19th century, Calavera was used to describe short, humorous poems, which were often sarcastic tombstone epitaphs published in newspapers that poked fun at the living. These literary Calaveras eventually became a popular part of the other 
was in Mexican radio. Yes, back in the, gosh, probably the 60s, 70s, and 80s, he was a radio personality in the Los Angeles area. I just think it's rather ironic because Sassy's voice affected so many people around the world. And even though it wasn't radio, it was in fact in the broadcasting media. The article continues to talk about the food of the dead. You work up a mighty hunger and thirst traveling from the spirit world back to the realm of the living. And we all know that Sassy loved food. At least that's the traditional belief in Mexico. Some families place their dead loved one's favorite meal on the altar. Other common offerings. Pan de muerto or bread of the dead. Guys, if you remember, I showed some pan de muerto in my video last year. And it was not easy to find in Athens, Georgia, but I did find it. So, Pan de Muerto is one of the foods that you can put on the altar. Sassy put a pomegranate on her friend Linda's altar in 2017. So, I also included one on her altar last year. possibilities are endless. You can put whatever you want, whatever you think the deceased family member would like to see when they got back from their travels. Guys, I don't know about you, but I really enjoy watching the celebrations of Day of the Dead on television. I really love how people get dressed up and how the women wear crowns of roses on their heads for Day of the Dead. I didn't do it last year, but this year I may decide to paint my face when I make my Day of the Dead video. Okay guys, time for more Sassy Snacks ASMR. I am going to put on her Menudo video just looking and I noticed that she is wearing a scarf that I got her in Scotland. Very hard to watch sometimes bringing back all of these memories but she was a special person and I enjoy sharing her with you. So here we are Sassy Snacks Menudo video.
you soon in the next Sissy Snacks ASMR-ish video.